In this video, we will deal with the problem related to the POSC. It is to be noted that POSC means principle of atom conservation and it is one of the important method to solve the stoichiometric problems in which there is no need of balancing the reaction. It is to be noted that no need of balancing the reaction and this method to solve the stoichiometric problem will be used when the series of reactions are given and the product uh, and the information about the products of the series of reaction is not clearly mentioned but starting and end, end products are given so the POS is applied uh, on that atom which remains conserved during the uh, reaction yeah we can say that for which the information has been provided the most important thing about that this method POSA that this is very important method to solve the quantitative estimation related problem in which we decide the percentage of element in a given compound like Carrier's method, Zeldal method etc. So the important thing about this method that how we will apply the POSA so let's take an example if 30 moles of KClO3 is given and if 30 moles of KClO3 is given then amount of moles of oxygen uh, formed by decomposition of KClO3 is required to be calculated. So simply we can write that KClO3 on decomposition will give KCl plus oxygen. It is to be noted that this is unbalanced reaction. Unbalanced reaction. Now we can apply the POSE on oxygen. So by this we will learn how we can apply the POSE uh, on a particular atom. So it is given obvious that 3 gram atom of oxygen are present in KClO3. So we can write that 3 into moles of KClO3 because we are applying the POSE on oxygen. So on the right hand side oxygen 2 gram atoms of oxygen are present. So we can write that 2 into moles of oxygen. Now we can relate the moles of KClO3 and oxygen like this right now if 30 moles of KClO3 is given moles of oxygen is required to be calculated so simply by solving this we can find the moles of oxygen as 45 we can take one more example to apply the concept of POIC like on complete decomposition of calcium carbonate the entire carbon which is present in the calcium carbonate is converted into co2 so now we can apply the POSC on carbon so obviously one mole of one mole of carbon is present in calcium carbonate so we can write the equation that one into moles of calcium carbonate that will be equal to one into moles of co2 take one more example to understand the meaning of POSC suppose phosphorus it is given that white phosphorus react with oxygen to give two different products which is p4o10 and p4o6 and the amount of p4 and oxygen is given and it is required to calculate the amount of p4o10 and p4o6 so simply without balancing the reaction first we will apply the POSC on phosphorus so Obviously, in left hand side, we can say that 4 into moles of phosphorus that will be equal to because we are applying the POSC on phosphorus. So, 4 into moles of P, uh, P4 that will be equal to for P4O10, we can write that 4 into moles of P4O10 plus for uh, definitely P4O6, we can also write that 4 into moles of p 4 or six so this is the way by which we applied the 
POSE on phosphorus. In the same way, we can apply the uh, POSE on oxygen. So how we can apply? Because two gram atom of oxygen is uh, present in the O2. Definitely, we can write as two. We can take this equation here. Two into moles of oxygen. That will be equal to ten into moles of P4O10 plus six because we are applying the POSE on oxygen. So in case of P4O6, six into moles of P4O6. This is this will be equation two. On solving equation one and two, we can find the number of moles of P4O10 O10 and P4O6 form. Uh, as I told you that the POSE principle of atom conservation can apply on the sequence of reaction when the product at the intermediate reactions are not clearly mentioned or given for example this is an organic acid hnx which on treatment with agno3 gives silver salt which have w gram which on igniation gives x gram of silver so we can apply the POSC in this step from AgNx to AgNAg. So we can write that from this silver salt that n moles of Ag is, is present in this. So we can write that n into moles of silver salt that will be equal to here one gram atom of Ag is present one into moles of Ag. Further we can write that n into mass of silver salt which is w gram divided by mss which is molecular mass of silver salt that will be equal to 1 into x gram which is the mass of silver divided by 108 which is the atomic mass of silver so this is the way by which we can uh, apply the POSE now we can solve uh, the problems uh, by applying the POSE, it is given that a sample of KNO3 weighing W1 gram undergoes series of reaction in which that all nitrogen atom is converted into K2, Zn3, Fe, C and Hol6 all twice. We can say this is the complex. How many gram of this complex or product were obtained? Uh, and the molecular mass of KNO3 is given as M1 and for the complex it is given as M2. So very obvious, this KNO3, which is W1 gram, undergoes series of reaction and information is given that all nitrogen atom is converted. So, so we will apply the POSE on the nitrogen. So K2, Zn3, Fe, Cn, whole 6, whole twice. So now we will apply the POSE on nitrogen. So we can write that from the left hand side 1 into moles of KNO3 that will be equal to uh, here in the right hand side uh, 12 gram atom of nitrogen is present so definitely we can write that 12 into moles of complex now on solving this 1 into moles of KNO3 so 1 into moles of KNO3 which because it is W1 gram and the molecular mass of KNO3 is M1, W1 upon M1, that is equal to 12 into W2 is the amount of complex that is to be calculated. And definitely the molecular mass of this complex is M2. On solving this, we can simply find the W2 that will be equal to W1 M2 upon M1 into 12. So this will be the answer. We can take one more example to explain the concept of POSE. It is given that all the carbon atom present in this compound, which is kh 3 c 2 hall 4 hall twice dot 2 h 2 weighing 254 gram is converted into CO2. So it is clearly mentioned that the CO2 uh, carbon is conserved in this case. So how many gram of CO2 were obtained? So definitely we can apply the POSE in this and this. So definitely four gram atoms of oxygen, uh, carbon is present in this. So we can apply the POIC as four into moles of this compound. That will be equal to one into moles of CO2 W 
CO2 divided by 44 and 254 gram of this compound is given. So 254 into 4 divided by capital M, which is the molecular mass of this compound, which is the molecular mass of this compound and definitely it will be equal to 254 gram m you will get as 254 gram so on solving this on solving this you will get 44 into 4 gram which is the mass of co2 so this is the uh, method POSC by which we can solve the stoichiometric problem without balancing. Thank you very much.